What's up, my man? What's up, bud? How are you feeling, bro? Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, yeah I'm just happy to get the win, man. Get back in that winning circle, man. Yeah, Jay! Yeah, Jay! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, talk a little bit about your strategy in this fight. It appeared at first that you wanted to box him, but around the second or third round, you just started walking him down. Talk about that. Uh, if you notice, a lot of my fights end up like that. You know, I, I have noticed that. People say I start slow, but at the end of the day, it's, it's chess, not checkers. And uh, you, you have to figure out a game plan. You have to go out there and uh, find out what you want to do. And then after you figure out a few punches, a few things, moves you want to go to, then you start executing. And uh, a lot of times, for me, it always comes in the third, fourth round. Is that by design? Is that something you plan, or is that something that just happens? That's just my style. You know, at the end of the day, I'll, if, if you know me outside of the ring, I don't rush into anything. You know, I'm a thinking man in, in every aspect of uh, my life. And uh, in the ring, is is no different. Who's next for you? I uh, really don't know right now. Um, I just hope that it's, it's, you know, it's a top name, a big fight, and, um, and uh, hopefully it's here to see All right, thanks so much. Come on, Peterson. No. Lamont, what does this win do for you compared to when you think about where your career was after last year and where you're going to go now? Uh, but just put me back, I think, I, I think it puts me back in the position that I was in before the loss. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you're fighting at the top level, you fight top guys. Uh, you take a loss, you go back a few steps, you, you win, you go up a few steps. So uh, at the end of the day, I think I'm back where I was. And I'm just ready to continue to climb the ladder and become number one. Is that it? Dog, you did a good fight. Thank you. Your, your, your cousin is Lester Oates. I'm his friend, Aaron Thompson. Thanks. How you doing, bro? I'm good, I'm proud man. to see you here, man. No. I'm proud to see you doing no. your thing. All right, thank you. Uh, I appreciate okay, it. You so, appreciate it. So, Lombard, right. just talk about, all right, so with Danny Garcia, you said you want to clean out the 140 uh, pound, uh, you know, weight class. So, what do you what do you expect if he doesn't want to fight you? What do you expect then? Uh, I really don't know. Um, at the end of the day, I am the IBF champion. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a mandatory or something like that. So we'll we'll see what options come out there. Um, I'm, I'm not uh, uh, turning down any uh, fights at welterweight either. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Do you plan on going to 147 and nothing happens? I, I could. You could? Yep. I would love it. Okay. So what about the uh, crowd here in DC? How'd you like it? Uh, I love it. Uh, I always do. Um, it seems like the crowd get bigger and bigger every time. Uh, I was just happy that, you know, being this, though it was a cold day, snowed a little bit, snow all around the ground, that people showed up. And uh, I just love my my, 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 uh, my town and, and, and I love the support that they gave me. And with the last question, uh, what about your patience? You, you, you kind of show a little bit more patience this fight than you did with uh, Matisse. What was it? Was it Barry Hunter? Uh, yeah, you know, he drilled me about uh, the, the, the Matisse fight that, you know, as soon as uh, he hit me pretty good, you know, I got that fight as hot and uh, I stopped going after him where he just told me, you know, make sure that, you know, I stick to the game plan and that's what I tried to do. Thank you.